When the new year starts, this whole process is going to get even uglier. Late night hosts have started weighing in following news on Wednesday that the U.S. House of Representatives have voted to impeach President Donald Trump. In the vote that's divided the nation for many weeks and months, Trump was charged on two articles of impeachment, obstructing Congress and abusing his power by enlisting a foreign government to investigate a political rival ahead of the 2020 election. During The Late Show, host Stephen Colbert tackled the president's reaction to the news, reading off of one of his tweets and noting he's not taking it so well. Can you believe <laughs> that I will be impeached today by the radical left? do nothing Democrats, and I did nothing wrong. <laughs> A terrible thing. Read the transcripts. This should never happen to another president again. Say a prayer. As Colbert puts it, nothing says confidence like say a prayer. The state trooper pulls you over, you're completely innocent. So you scream at the other motorists, pray for me! Further into the show, Colbert pulled out a clip from the Washington Post in which a former aide called Trump the most resilient politician the country has ever seen. Okay, not to be all Teddy Roosevelt got shot, but uh, <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt got shot and then finished the speech he was giving. Trump gets winded carrying an umbrella up a staircase. <laughs> In the end, Colbert concluded by comparing the Trump presidency to that of a TV show. I call it the worst wing. <laughs> Over on The Daily Show, host Trevor Noah was quick to poke fun at the president's response to the impeachment process, also calling out his Twitter. Is it just me, or does it seem like Trump went through all the stages of grief in one tweet? <laughs> Noah addressed the news again in a longer segment called The Magical, Wonderful Road to Impeachment. Impeachment. It's when America moves its president to the spam folder. The host also addressed the anger expressed by Republican members of Congress who spent the day competing on who could make impeachment sound worse and using some pretty crazy comparisons, to say the least. Did these guys just compare impeachment to Pearl Harbor and what happened to Jesus? <laughs> and even if Trump was going to be put on the cross, he'd never carry it himself. He'd probably put it on the back of a golf cart, all right? Elsewhere on The Tonight Show, host Jimmy Fallon covered Trump's impeachment in his new Smash segment and summed up that basically the president is not happy. Today, the House of Representatives officially voted to impeach President Trump. Of course, it's a dark stain on his legacy, but on the bright side, Trump finally managed to win a popular vote. The host also argues against historians who say that Trump's impeachment will be what Americans remember most about 2019. Like, oh, come on, have you seen Baby Yoda? Come on. <laughs> Over on Late Night, host Seth Meyers compared the impeachment to having a raccoon in your garage and poking it with a broom. It's still there, it's just mad now. And during his Closer Look segment, Myers addressed how some Republicans pretend to be surprised that there are people who take issue with Trump, saying, this is like one of those news stories where a guy gets arrested for being a serial killer for 40 years, and reporters go to his neighbors and ask, did you suspect anything? Well, one time I saw him with a chainsaw wearing a hockey mask, but I just assumed he was a lumberjack who played in the NHL. And on Full Frontal, host Samantha Bee joked that employees at the McDonald's near the White House were struggling to fill a very large order of comfort meat for Trump. She also added that some people may feel that impeaching Trump was pointless since he's likely to remain in office, but she assured viewers that the impeachment process was actually worthwhile, saying, in a world where old, rich, white dudes seem to increasingly operate with impunity, today, Trump faces the tiniest bit of punity, and that is magic! For more late night news and updates, head to THR.com. And until next time, for The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Neha Joy.